The Weaker Vessel, by Antonia Fraser, is a captivating exploration of the lives of women in 17th century England. Through meticulous research and vivid storytelling, Fraser delves into the complexities of female existence during a time when patriarchal norms and societal expectations constrained women's roles and ambitions. In this literary analysis, we will dissect key themes, characters, and narrative techniques employed by Fraser to shed light on the multifaceted lives of women in this period. One of the central themes in Fraser's book is the dichotomy between the public and private spheres in a woman's life during the 17th century. She demonstrates how women were predominantly relegated to the private realm, where their duties primarily revolved around managing households, bearing and raising children, and adhering to the moral and social standards of the time. Fraser paints a vivid picture of the daily lives of women, emphasizing their struggles, challenges, and triumphs within these domestic confines. Through detailed accounts of childbirth, marriage, and domesticity, she highlights how women's identities were intricately tied to their roles as wives and mothers. Fraser's narrative also delves into the concept of female education and intellectual pursuits in 17th century England. She reveals the limited opportunities for women to receive a formal education and how this deficiency stifled their intellectual growth. Yet, despite these constraints, Fraser introduces readers to remarkable women who manage to overcome societal barriers and engage in intellectual endeavors. Women like Margaret Cavendish and Lucy Hutchinson emerge as beacons of female scholarship and creativity, challenging the prevailing notion of women as the weaker vessel. The author's meticulous research is evident in her portrayal of the legal and social status of women during this period. Fraser skillfully weaves in anecdotes and historical accounts to illustrate the legal inequalities that women faced, such as the lack of property rights and the subjugation to their husband's authority. She also explores the intricacies of courtship and marriage, shedding light on the transactional nature of unions and the expectations imposed on women to be virtuous and obedient wives. Fraser's narrative is enriched by her use of primary sources and historical documents, which lend authenticity to the stories of the women she portrays. By incorporating diaries, letters, and autobiographies, she allows the voices of these women to resonate through the ages. Readers are transported back in time to witness the struggles and aspirations of women in their own words, providing a deeply personal and emotional connection to the past. Throughout The Weaker Vessel, Fraser employs a rich and evocative writing style that captures the essence of the 17th century. Her prose is imbued with historical detail and nuance, making the era come alive for the reader. Whether describing the opulence of court life or the hardships of childbirth, Fraser's writing is vivid and immersive, allowing readers to fully immerse themselves in the world of 17th century England. In conclusion, Antonia Fraser's The Weaker Vessel offers a profound and enlightening exploration of the lives of women in 17th century England. Through meticulous research, vivid storytelling, and a rich narrative style, Fraser brings to life the challenges, triumphs, and complexities of women during this era. She navigates themes of gender roles, education, legal status, and societal expectations with skill and sensitivity. By weaving together historical accounts and personal narratives, Fraser provides a poignant and authentic portrayal of the women who defied convention and left their mark on history. The Weaker Vessel is a testament to the resilience and strength of women in the face of formidable societal constraints, and it continues to be a valuable resource for anyone interested in the history of women's lives.